Hey guys, welcome back to my channel The Glitter Glam. For those who are new here, my name is Maumita and I post in videos on beauty and skincare. And today I'll be doing this traditional Bengali makeup look for Durga Ashtami which is just around the corners. For your convenience, the details of all the products used in this video have been listed down below in the description bar. Also please take in a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell icon next to it to get notified to the videos I post in. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. I have already prepped up my skin with the Drugstore Moisturizer, the Pond Super Light Gel, before starting my makeup. And now, to moisturize my lips, I'm using the Sage Apothecary Lip Balm. Up next, I will start filling up my eyebrows and for that, first I'll comb out my eyebrows using a spoolie and then using some dark brown eyeshadow and an angular, small angular brush, I will fill in the sparse areas of my eyebrows. For filling up my eyebrows, I'm using the dark brown eyeshadow named Hollywood from my Makeup Revolution Pro Palette Gold Mine. And you can do the same by taking in any brown eyeshadow from whatever palette you have or also by using an eyebrow pencil. And then using a spoolie, I will blend out my eyebrows once again so that nothing looks harsh up there. Next, to cancel out the darkness on my eyelids, I will prime them using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 120 Light. And I will apply this on my lids using its brush tip applicator. And then I'm going in with a deep angle concealer brush from Cuffs and Lashes. And using this, I will blend out the concealer on my entire lid space. Next, to set the concealer and to prevent it from creasing on my lids, I'm using some loose translucent powder from Sugar Cosmetics and using the same deep angle concealer brush, I'm going to pack the loose translucent powder on my eyelids. Next, I will tight line my waterline using the Lacme Iconic Absolute Cold Pencil in the shade black and uh, using this cold pencil, I'm going to tight line my lower as well as upper waterline. I'll also tight line my upper lash line using the same pencil. Now whenever we do a brown or a black smoky eye, it's always better to use a black coal pencil over a grey one as it creates a more intense look. And after lining my lash line, I'm going to smudge this liner using my ring finger in back and forth wiggling motions. Now for eyeshadows, I'm using the Revolutions Pro Neutral Eyeshadow Palette named Gold Mine. You can use in any neutral eyeshadow palette that you have. For this look, all we need is only black and brown colored eyeshadows. Now using a small pencil brush, I've taken the black eyeshadow Private Jet from my Neutrals eyeshadow palette and I will place it on the smudged kajal line on my upper lash line. Next, to smudge and smoke out the eyeshadow further, I'm holding the brush in a certain way and I have pressed the bristles like this making a small fan and then I'm smudging using this. And now I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow Hollywood with a small blending brush and I will place this on top of the black eyeshadow. Now if I may divide my lid space into two halves, I'm going to place this dark brown shade on the upper half of my lid space as the lower half has the black eyeshadow and then I'm going to blend out both the eyeshadows into one so that it gives a very diffused ombre kind of a look and nothing looks harsh next for my crease I've taken the shade splendid which is a shade closer to my skin tone and using a big blending brush I'm going to blend out this color into my crease area going in small circular motions Next, for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the black eyeshadow Private Jet from my palette and using a small flat angular brush, I'm going to stamp in this color into my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the same dark brown eyeshadow Hollywood with a small pencil brush and will smudge out my lower lash line further with this. Next, to finish up the eye makeup further, I'm going to prep up my lashes before coating them with a coat of mascara. So for that, I'm going to curl my lashes using an eyelash curler. Next, for mascara, I'm using the Deborah Milano 24 Absolute Volume Mascara. And this one is a full voluminizing mascara. And using this, I'm going to generously coat my upper as well as lower lashes with this. And I won't be going in with falsies today as my eyes are a bit watery today. So I decided to go in with a voluminizing mascara. 
For foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I'm in the shade 310. It is a full coverage foundation. And first, I have dotted the foundation on my face and neck. And then, I'm going in with a flat top kabuki brush. You may use in any damp sponge or a beauty blender, damp beauty blender or any other flat brush that you have. Anything that makes you comfortable blending out your foundation. And whenever we are blending out the foundation using a damp beauty blender or a sponge, we get a much more sheer coverage as the sponge will always absorb a lot of your product. While using a brush, we get much better of a coverage. And always moisturize your skin at least 15 to 30 minutes before starting your makeup so that your moisturizer absorbs into your skin prepping it up for makeup. In case you apply your moisturizer just before your foundation, your makeup will slip and slide everywhere which again you do not want. I like to do my moisturizer at least 30 minutes before my makeup and also do not forget to take down your foundation to your neck as well because you want your face and neck to look like one piece and cohesive. And after I finish up blending the foundation, I'm going to brighten my under eyes with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 120 Sand. And I use this as a brightening concealer just to bring in some light on the high points of my face. So I'm going to go on the high points of my face, that is my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my smile lines, chin and forehead area. And then using a damp beauty sponge, I'm going to blend this out. To blend out the concealer, I have moistened my damp sponge with some fixing spray today and I learned in this trick recently from someone on Instagram and believe you me guys, this trick really works. It sets the concealer really well and prevents it from creasing for a longer time. Now whatever you do, your concealer is going to crease in the fine lines of your eyes after some time. So just by going in with this trick, just prolongs that time. Next, after concealing and before I go ahead with contouring up my face, I'm going to set my under eyes and the rest of the places where I used in the concealer with some loose translucent powder. So I'm going in with a fluffy brush and using this, I will lightly place the powder in the required areas. Next, for contouring, I decided to go in with some powder contour and for that, I'm taking the Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This one is a really good quality contouring palette in an affordable budget and this palette comes in with a pressed banana powder as well, which you can use in to set your under eyes, etc. So, I'm using a flat contouring brush again by Wet n Wild and I'm going in at the usual places, that is the hollows of my cheek, the circumference of my face closer to my hairline and my jawline and will blend it out with the same brush itself. I like to take it a tad little bit to the neck also. Next, before bronzing up my face, I'm going to dust off the loose powder bake that is lying down under my eyes and the rest of my face using the same fluffy brush. And now to contour my nose so that it looks more chiseled out and sharp, I'm going to draw out two lines with the same flat brush from where my eyebrow starts along the either side of my nose bridge and blend it out with the flat brush. Now the closer these two lines are, the more chiseled my nose looks. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some warmth to my face by using in a bronzer so that it gives in some more dimensions to my face and also gives a sun-kissed look. And this one I'm using is by LA Colors. So I'm going to bronze up along my hairline on the forehead, in the hollows of my cheek, along the jawline and just a tad little bit on my neck. Next for blush, I've taken this beautiful peach shade from the Nykaa's Malibu Barbie Blush Palette and the brush is from Wet n Wild and I'll use it generously on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on the tip of my nose and with whatever is left over in my brush, I'm going to swirl it over my forehead and chin and using a blush all over like this, I feel, puts in everything together and makes the look more cohesive. Now for highlighter, I've taken this beautiful milky white shade from this eyeshadow quad that I have and using a small pencil brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. And then with a small fan brush, I'm going to go on the usual places, that is my cheekbone, the tip and bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, chin and forehead.
Now to complete this look, I would do a nude lip and first I would be going in by doing my lip line. And to line my lips, I'm using the Pack Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Coffee. And it's always better to use a darker lip liner while doing nude lips as it does not wash you out. And for lipstick, I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics Nothing Else Matter Long Wear Lipstick in the shade 10 Rosy Picture. This is a beautiful peachy nude lipstick with pink undertones to it and looks absolutely gorgeous on brown Indian skin tones. And to complete the look, I will put a big bold red bindi on my forehead. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock everything in because you don't want the base makeup to move so that it just not starts coming off and it stays put. So the one that I'll be using today is by Swiss Beauty. So I'm going to spritz this all over my face and then fan it down. And here is the completed final look. A simple messy low bun with mogra in the hair, a big bold Bengali red bindi and some traditional gold jewellery is what I have opted for the completed final look. Also since it is Durga Ashtami, the traditional red bordered white sari has finished this elegant look. I really enjoyed creating this look for you guys and hope you enjoyed it too. So please do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you really enjoyed this look, do give a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell icon to get notified too whenever I post in a new video. For your convenience, I have listed down the details of all the products used in down in the description bar below. I love you guys so much and I shall see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial and some amazing content. Until then, it's time for me to sign off. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye guys.